Hey guys, Klaff here, and today, as usual, we are covering some snapshot command news. So this snapshot introduced uh, a new way to change the way that entities are displayed on scoreboards, and it also added a bunch of variety, quality of life, scoreboard interactions and things to mess with the display. Uh, this is snapshot 23w46a, so we are just on the on-ramp to 1.21, but it probably won't change too much in the near future. So. To start this, I have an armor stand, and when I summon it, it just has that, all right? Now, if I do scoreboard players set, uh, e type equals armor stand, test to one, you'll see, oh man, that's ugly, that's hideous. How do I change this? Well, I could try and name the armor stand, and so I'm gonna give myself one of these name tags, and if I do say hi, Addy, the armor stand is named A, but for some reason, that score still sucks. All right, so let me try and kill it, respawn it, name it, and look at that, score still sucks. So the reason for that is it uses UUID, and that's just how entities display their names, but we can actually fix that with this new update. So the change added a new uh, sub command of the scoreboard players sub command called display. So if you do scoreboard players, now you can do display. We previously had add, get, list, operation, remove, set, get. Now they added display. And so now you can mess with the number format or the name. So we can mess with the name and then we can set the name of the entity and we can set their name on a specific scoreboard and we can display what that name is. So, so essentially on any given scoreboard, specifically the scoreboard itself, you can specify a name which a specific entity goes as almost like an alias and so in this command i set the armor stands name on the test scoreboard specifically to be high when i run this now it says hi much more pretty but uh, now let's get into a couple of the new stuff so you may wonder well what if i want to make a name like a score well sadly this does not actually support that so i tested this where a name is a score and you can see that what we see here is you have equals equals but some other interesting things happened so they did add another modifier, and we'll see why all the names got all changey, but let's just go ahead and run the first command. Bam, so you can see from the first command, um, we're not able to insert a score in there, so dynamic indexing doesn't necessarily work. But we do have some other interesting features that they added that are a little bit pedantic, but we're gonna talk about what they do. So the other new one is a modification to the sub function scoreboard objectives modify. So there's this sub function scoreboard objectives modify, which is you change stuff about a scoreboard. So one of the things you could change before was the display name in case you wanted to change it after the fact, but now they added the display auto update sub and this can either be true or false. And so display auto update essentially will update an entity's name when its score changes. So first I set the score to something. Then I make sure that the display auto update setting is true. By default, it is false. Then when I run this command to add or change his score, right, it will change it to the correct name that he is supposed to have, which is A, because that's this guy's correct name. And so I do the same for this wolf as well, so you can kind of see what this does. So if I have a mob that is my pet and I rename him to B, then it will be B, just like that. So that feature can be pretty useful if you have entities whose names may change at any given point, but you still want to see them in the scoreboard update. Now, if you want a static name, so you want it to work like before, then you just set it to false and you'll see that when I do this, it stays as equals equals and doesn't update to the A or the B because I changed the name with the this and auto update is false. Just like that. So if you wanna keep it the way it was before, which is kind of the more typical use case, uh, you just leave it as is. Finally, we run into the other little changes here that are minor, but also pretty cool. And they kind of go with each other. So this one I don't have a command block for, but we have scoreboard players display. And so we'll just grab this command here. And instead of setting the, so instead of setting that entity's name, we can actually change their number format. And the way we can do the number format is we can specifically say blank, fixed, or styled. So this number format can either apply to the entire scoreboard or we can apply it to a specific entity. And so what you'll see is I'll do it for an entire scoreboard 
And so when we do scoreboard objectives modify test number format blank, this means that there will be no numbers in the scoreboard. So this means you can use numbers to sort the scoreboard, just like you're on a server for those like cool sidebar displays. You can use numbers to sort them, but you don't need the numbers, which is something I don't even think servers are able to do. Maybe they can, maybe they don't. I don't see it very commonly. So this might be like a feature even plugins just got. Uh, as a new feature. So then next we have fixed. So that's if you want all the numbers to be replaced with a fixed symbol. So maybe you just want like dashes with a to-do list. And then finally stylized lets you change the style of the numbers so you can make them bold, colored, italics, all these kind of things that you would want. Now, again, you can do this to the entire display or you can change the style of just one entities. So I want to make this guy's score color red. And now he will just have the normal red number on the side for just him, but not for me or the wolf. So really cool display manipulations you can do with scoreboards. That's the gist of this update. Uh, as a little bonus, I'll cover this because this wasn't in new to the update, but it is um, kind of interesting. So you're, there's another modifier or way to modify a scoreboard to change their render type between either hearts or integer. This doesn't impact the way it shows on the sidebar, but it does impact the way it shows when you're in the F5 mode, when you see it under players' names or in the list, which is how I can show you this. So if it's an integer mode, you just see the number, but if it's in hearts mode, it shows the word HP and it divides the number by two because in the game, one heart is worth two HP. And so this is just kind of a quality of life thing useful. Maybe you'll find something more uh, useful or powerful for it somewhere else, but it doesn't exactly show it below the name for non-player entities. So it doesn't really help when it comes to displaying that kind of information. Anyways, guys, if you thought that was a cool little update and you have any plans for it, let me know in the comments. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.